like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. This is an exclusive with Lieutenant Colonel Bob Friend, one of the oldest remaining Tuskegee Airmen alive. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Well, how does it feel, this latest movie that came out, Red Tails, bringing more attention to the Tuskegee Airmen? Were you, were you happy about it? Were you glad that this movie came out? Well, yes, I'm, I'm glad it came up. Uh, something like this uh, should probably have been done sooner, but uh, I think that uh, it uh, serves a purpose. How does it feel to be 30,000 feet up, flying at jet speed? Well, we weren't flying at quite jet speeds, but we were flying at uh, high speeds. You know, and I say a high speech for the day. Uh, 30,000 feet, you are at 30,000 feet. No pressurization, and the heating systems weren't that great. It, I was frostbitten on both legs, uh, but uh, we didn't do it. How? Perseverance. Did, so what was the feeling like? When, I mean, according to the movie, according to history, General Benjamin Davis, was he a general then? Colonel? He wasn't a general, he was colonel then. Colonel. He advocated for black pilots to be a part of the war. Is that what you guys wanted? Well, uh, of course we wanted, we wanted to be a, a part of uh, whatever the job called for. We didn't necessarily want to go into the Air Force just to be people flying around in the States. Of doing uh, commercial type activities or quasi military things. According to the story, at first, your white counterparts did not um, appreciate you. But by the end of the day, the the story says that they were very, very grateful for you. Well, <clears throat> you know, the, the as far as timing is concerned, uh, last year. I was invited to uh, a reunion by one of the bomber groups in San Di down in San Diego, which is where they held their their uh, last meeting. And boy, they were really, really elated about the relationship that developed. Now, that relationship for us developed uh, on the 29th of. December 1944, when uh, a lot of them had to land at our installation. They couldn't get home because the weather was bad, and they stayed there for five days. That meant that what they had to do was house with us, eat with us, got to know each other a lot better. Has racism gotten better in this country? I'm sorry. Racism. Racial hatred, whites hating blacks, blacks hating whites. Is it getting better? I should think it is. There are lots of things that go on today that uh, certainly wouldn't have been able to uh, have happened uh, in the years past without uh, there being a lot of uproar. Marriages, mm -hmm. associations, working together. How does it feel to have a black president? And a yeah. good black president, not just I, not I, just a, a... Great, great. Yeah. It's really great. Uh, uh, I thought that we would have had one a lot sooner. I thought... Did you? Was, yes, I thought that there were some candidates. For instance, uh, uh, Ed Brooke, I thought, was really headed in that direction. Mm -hmm. Were you scared is it normal to be scared at 30,000 feet trying to shoot down another plane? Well, it's, I think it's normal to be apprehensive. Mm -hmm. But scared, you know, 20 years old, 21 year olds, they don't think that they're, they think they're indestructible. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly uh, if, you find yourself uh, in a position where 
if you had a disadvantage, mm -hmm. you you might have some apprehension. I know that uh, we we had um, <coughs> a group of of uh, a flight of four that got separated one time, and they encountered far more Germans than they were. And they, had, they were 10 to 1, 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. And only one of the guys got back. Uh, and his name was Harris. And uh, two were shot down. One or another came back because his got canopy flew off. But um, he said that that uh, Irving, the one that was ki actually killed in Africa, he said, boy, he was everywhere. You know, he was just desperately shooting at it and everything. He, and he, he claimed that he, he saw him shoot down at least five and then another one in uh, Brown, who also was on the mission and he was shot down, but he was captured. And he too indicated that Irving had really and truly destroyed a lot of Germans before they got him, but you still, you run out of luck, you run out of time, you run out of ammunition, you run out of fuel, you know, and numbers just really and truly goes up too much on them. Okay. We're going to take a pause. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com. We're here with Lieutenant Colonel Bob Friend. Keep watching BeMoreNews, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.